Hey all, this is Justin, um, continuing this little series here for the Albop Shorts where I'm talking about troll tactics. I'm excited to talk about other stuff, of course, and answer questions, and there's so many topics to cover. This is going to, doing these videos is going to open up such a great way for us to answer so much more content. But in the meantime, I want to talk about these troll tactics because it can be funny and we see them everywhere. So hopefully it'll help you not only on Albop, but anywhere you go on the internet, be able to, like I said, not have to be bothered by these tactics when you see them both online and offline. So for this first one, I'm going to talk about one I call The Lawyer. Um, this one's really simple. We see it all the time. Probably a lot of us have done this when we get upset. It's a typical tactic um, where you zoom in and you take one little thing wildly out of context, something that means something totally different, perhaps even the opposite in the proper context, but you zoom in on that one thing and focus on that one thing and take it out of context to mean what you want to say it means. So, um, that's the tactic. It's pretty simple. When you recognize people are doing it, it's like, well, that's just that same old tactic. You're not willing to use reason. You're, you're, you're falling back on a tactic. You're not willing to reasonably talk about the subject at hand. You're willing to fall back to the lawyer, this tactic, to zoom in and take something out of context because when you look at it in context reasonably, it doesn't mean what you want to say it means. So, for examples, uh, I was looking for good examples of this. I found one in Harry Potter. Um, just these are goofy little examples. All right. Harry Potter. This is the fifth book. Um, at this part, Harry is talking to Dumbledore, as often happens toward the end of the books. And Dumbledore is talking about why Harry has to go stay with the Dursleys, his mean aunt and uncle and everything. Talking about how staying there with a relative of his mother, his aunt, gives him power to be protected by Voldemort. All right? Um, so Dumbledore says, While you can still call home the place where your mother's blood dwells, his aunt, well, you can still call home the place where your mother's blood dwells. There you cannot be touched or harmed by Voldemort. So that's why he's going to stay at his aunts and uncles, so that Voldemort can't get him when he's there. All right, well, let's, let's play the lawyer on Dumbledore here. Let's take part of what he says out of context. Well, Dumbledore, you said that, quote, you cannot be touched or harmed by Voldemort. Well, clearly you don't know anything about anything, because Harry has been harmed by Voldemort a lot by this point. And in the last book, Voldemort touched him right on the face. Clearly, Dumbledore, you don't know anything we were talking about. You said... You cannot be touched or harmed by Voldemort right there in black and white. Okay, in context. There, you cannot be touched or harmed by Voldemort. When he's at the Dursleys, when he's at his aunt, aunt and uncle's house, there, he cannot be touched or harmed by Voldemort. That one little word in the context of the sentence and the paragraph around it means a totally different thing than Harry can't be touched or harmed by Voldemort. That's the lawyer in action. Uh, I was looking for other good examples. Just take a couple of minutes here. I found one. This is a. Uh, this book has no cover. Cosmos by Carl Sagan. Um, just finding random lines. Um, for instance, Carl Sagan says here. Distances of seventy-five light years or less are very small. Well, clearly Carl Sagan doesn't know anything about space or science or light years. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about what a light year is. If he says seventy-five light years is small, clearly we can disregard everything else he says. Okay, let me read there's a sentence. Distances of 75 light years or less are very small compared to other distances in astronomy. And then Carl Sagan spends a paragraph going on about these other incredibly large distances that do in fact make 75 light years very small. So that's the lawyer. Pretty simple. Now, does knowing about this tactic help you argue with people who use it? I doubt it. It's not going to help you answer them. It's not going to help you stop them from trolling, but it means that if you see someone using this tactic and they use it a lot, people have used it about Albop a lot in the places that Khalees and I have been reading different people talking about Albop. When you see it, you don't have to be confused. When you see people do it about religion or politics or whatever subject is at hand, you don't have to be confused say, oh wait, right, that means something totally different in context. It sounds like a really simple tactic and it is. People, people use it all the time about some really important topics. and. I'd say personality typing is fairly important too, understanding how you work, but there are much more important topics that people use the lawyer about all the time. So, troll tactic, the lawyer. Don't be fooled by it, keep your eye out for it. Trolls are going to troll, not, not much you can do about it, but it doesn't mean you have to be fooled by it. So yeah, see you next time with, a, with another tactic.